All right, hey there viewers. So what do I got for you today? I got a 2016 Honda Fit and uh, let's let me get you this customer's complaint here um, Okay, check and report customer was driving and when backing up to park their car the car suddenly died They tried to push it and the car almost started but the car won't jump from a booster BCAA guy told customer that it is possibly a starter but please do a diag to see what is the solution for the cause of this problem thank you so that is the uh, the issue uh, I got it in by you know rolling it down the ramp stick it in gear and then the car started up uh, also check the charging system and it is not it is not charging um, that's that's also an issue also, you got a warning light on the dash saying check charging system and there's no battery light. <laughs> so that's no good. Um, yeah, and also, you know, turning the key. I don't even hear the starter clicking. So that's also an issue. Um, so I'm going to take a look underneath the hood and then just check the, uh, the starter and see what we got. Actually, let's, uh, let's scan it for codes and see why, right? Because if it has a, a warning on the dash, it'll also have a code. The hell? The hell? Does it not want to communicate? I guess uh, we're not starting, we're not charging, and we're not communicating. So, because I, I know we're plugged in, right? Because I got the, the lights, right? And then when it tries to communicate, because I, you know, you're, you're, you're doing, you're, you're connecting, the little orange light will start flashing, right? In the middle, and then it doesn't want to communicate. So we have an issue there. Okay, so yeah, what do we do now? So we're not we're not starting, we're not charging, and we're not communicating. Uh, let's go underneath the hood and see what's up. All right, excuse the noise, because everybody's working. Uh, okay, just doing some quick, simple checks. So the starter is just down there, right? That's the uh, battery positive for the power cable on the starter. Just want to make sure the power is getting to there. And I got test light for lights up bright so we're getting power there uh, another thing is um, there's a connector for the starter solenoid so I'm just gonna unplug it get somebody to crank it and see if there's power getting through that one single pin connector on the starter if I can get it unplugged oh yeah okay got it so there we go Sing single pin connector on the starter so I unplugged it that I'm gonna check that with the uh, test light. If I can, I'm gonna go find an apprentice to go crank the car for me. Yeah, I need a crank. Just give me a crank. Okay, crank it. All right, so we got signal going to the starter solenoid. So now we gotta check the uh, charging system. But for the time being, we can take the little cover off the positive cable All right there's a little cover on the positive cable and uh, check to make sure we have power on that cable uh, you know what if the fuse blown right and it's in this this thing so simple just uh, see if we get a good yeah you, know, you can diag everything with just a test light and then make sure my yep there you go we got power on my test light so we do have power on that connect or on that positive cable all righty so uh, print you guys out a wiring diagram and I'll show you here's the alternator here's that one wire on that connector comes from the PCM and also from the battery sensor and that battery sensor has two wires that two those two wires are a red and white wire goes to two fuses so we're gonna have to look underneath the Hughes fuse relay box which is I think uh, that guy over there and uh, yeah we're gonna see if those fuses are okay and once those fuses are okay um, yeah, the only thing I can 
think of is um, in rarer cases, you know, it could, you know, if you're not getting signal from the PCM to command that alternator start, then, you know, then that's further diagnostics, right? So let's, uh, let's go ahead and check those fuses and see if they're okay. So fuse uh, 15, and I believe that blurry number is 18. Okay, so fuse 15, battery sensor, 7.5 amps, and then fuse 18, which is weird, is a horn horn fuse, but in the wiring diagram, there is a, is a splice, so that, that fuse feeds more than one thing. So I just push the horn, and the horn works. Or you can just get your test light, all right, grab your own grab your test light where is it and just check it right make sure you're make sure you got a uh, you know power on both sides of that fuse right and where's that 10 amp 10 amps right there but that's good uh, the other thing you can check is you can check it at the connector see if you know maybe you have a broken wire maybe you didn't put the sensor back properly because you can see you know that dangling there maybe it rubbed through somewhere someone didn't install this thing properly and uh, you know could possibly have a broken wire so yeah ah, let me just disconnect that connector okay somebody hold my phone so red and white wire that's these two guys power there and power there so we're good so a few things that I've noticed um, also look at that someone wrote April 2023 and luck you know what that tells me luck is a brand and a brand for a clutch and they're pretty bad because I've put in a couple and they're never never great but also down there you see a, a brand new slave cylinder so yeah I think somebody's worked on this before because everything is that's off the clip that connector well that's just the boot but then someone didn't put that back in. And I'm just like test. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at that. Not even the battery's not even on. This PCM's not tight. So I just threaded the bolt but never tightened that. This is not even clipped in. That's this is supposed to clip into this this bracket here. Hood cable just dangling over there. I don't know if I can show you. Let me take the battery out. Let me show you. Um so the things that I see is this is not connected. That's just the headlight. This PCM is not even tight. And I think they cross-threaded it because I can't can't even turn that by hand if that thing's that thing is loose. So what else did they forget, right? Okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a ground. Maybe they didn't connect connect the ground properly. I might as well put some of these things back because, you know. Okay. I am gonna keep looking and see if I can find where our issue is because these grounds are okay. All right, these are nice and tight. These are the main PCM grounds for this guy. But there's also the ground from the engine to the body, which also, you know, if you gotta get through this, and the cable looks okay, they're not corroded, it's tight. So I'm gonna do some more poking and see what, what our issue is. Right. I am underneath the car. I was um, like this thing. They didn't even put the cover back on. It's got a fairly new slave cylinder. Someone's gone ahead and kind of like marked every bolt that they they took off, right? Um, so there's one. Oh yeah, see, it's not even not even clicked in, and and the bracket is also bent that it clicks onto, so it doesn't even stay. But. I'm trying to find the ground for the transmission, which is this guy right here, right? And then if I can get you to what I actually found, I don't know if I can show you this. Uh, I might have to remove the air box to get to it. Okay, yeah, I can't, I can't get my camera in there while I do this. Maybe flip it around. So my issue is if I can find that ground, you see my hand? Nope, that's not my hand, oh, over here. So this, this cable right here, that's, I think that's my problem because that thing's loose. Let me zoom in closer. Can you see it? So there's my problem. 
that ground is not even tight. So I'm gonna have to remove the air box and see if I can get access to this, this the nut on top. And then I'm gonna also fix up whatever that other place, whoever put the clutch in, didn't put back. So yeah, okay, let me, uh, let me, let me, uh, what do you call it? Let me try and tighten that thing and then you'll see if it starts, does it charge, and also does it uh, communicate. Okay, before I remove this air box, um, oh yeah, by the way, I, uh, I, I can't tighten this bolt and I can't loosen it because they, they ran it in and it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely cross-threaded. But let me just show you that cable for the ground. Okay, that's a good, good, good spot, I think. Um, see my finger? See right here? I wonder if they cross-threaded that too. Can't turn it, because look, look at the ground. I can move it. So I think they cross-threaded that bolt trying to get it in and it won't tighten. Because I can't, I can't spin that bolt. You see? It won't move. So yeah, I'm gonna remove this air box and then I'm gonna tighten it. Or maybe it'll probably snap if I try to tighten it or maybe remove it so I don't know Let's see let me just remove this air box first so we can get a better look all right so the more stuff I remove the more stuff I find that's broken right they just they just put it on there and then just bolted it right but let's uh now that I have this air box out zoom out close grab my flashlight So, let's see, this is not even clipped in, see, that's not clipped in, I think they broke the clip for the, uh, the, uh, the clutch slave cylinder, right, so that clip is broken, it's just like hanging in there, I think this line is also kind of bent up, yeah, that's bent up, but our issue right now is this guy. Did they cross thread it and then... Oh, there you go. See? oh no, it does turn. It's just, it's just loose. There you go. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this and then see if we uh, we get back our starting oops, starting, charging, and communication. Alright, so let's see if that's all it takes to fix all our issues. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. Try to clip everything back to where it's supposed to go. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this thing running. All right, so everything's back together. Um, yeah, but it's nice uh, It's nice when other shops uh, leave you clues on what they did, especially if it's just, you know, something like this, because I, I recognize the luck, luck clutch. And just looking at it, it's got a new slave cylinder. But anyways, let's uh, go in and see if we uh, get a communication back and we also got our battery light our battery lights back that's nice it's also due for service uh, let's see where we communicate come on come on are you gonna communicate for me Also gotta since I disconnected the battery. Gotta get the audio. Are we still not communicating? My God! But we do have the battery light, and then the check charging system is gone. I wonder if I just have to restart this, just the, the tablet, because I left it left it connected too long with the car off. But let's let's just start it and then see if it starts. Ooh, it cranks. And it starts. Nice. Let me check, uh, see if it's charging while it's still running. So yeah, I restarted the tablet and we're communicating. Uh, we'll do a health check. Might as well check it for codes. Clear whatever's in there. But yeah, anyways. Um, I'll start her up and then we'll check the charging system. All right, so not only are we communicating, 
We're also starting and we're charging. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's the, that's the end of this video, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's nice when, um, you know, other shops leave, leave you clues on what, what they did, you know? It helps you in diagnosing things quicker. But other than just, you know, making sure that the, there's power going to the starter and there's power going to the uh, alternator, um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.